Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a project that I created with the Graphic 45 Deluxe Collector's Edition uh, Proper Gentleman. Um, this paper is one of my favorite guy papers and I was so thrilled when they brought it back. So um, again, the Deluxe Collector's Edition, you get 24 papers and you get a 6x12 chipboard and you get a 12x12 sticker sheet included. So, here's what I created. I created a mini album in a box. And I used quite a bit of metal um, staples from Graphic 45, as well as I used one of their ATC book boxes, which is the black one, the small ATC size right here. And it comes with the little binder ring and you get three little ATC tags inside there. And then these are the Graphic 45 claw feet, and they look like this. And then I used also um, their metal door plates, and that's these here on the side. And um, I kind of got this idea of layering these, using these different than, you know, the doorknob. And I got that idea from uh, Annette Green, which she's brilliant. We love her. Um, so, and then these little keys I just layered on top. And those are from their staples, and it's the keys, and it's the brass. And then I also used on the front, right here, here's the doorknob that goes with the key, the key plate, or the door plate. But I used one of these little keyholes instead, and I think I used, yeah, I used this one right here. And then I added two of the metal brads from Graphic 45. They come like this. You get two different styles. I used the one that kind of matched the, um, the knob here just kind of look like a smaller version so I have some metal here and here and here so it does make it quite heavy but I think it turned out really cute and really guy looking <laughs> so I used again quite a bit of stuff and I'll show you the stuff that I used on the inside of the mini album but again on the outside I just layered this is a sticker from a sticker sheet I love the colors in this collection um, and then here's the back of the box Again, I layered up some of the design paper and added it on a piece of chipboard. This is a sticker from the sticker sheet as well. And the super cute Graphic 45 claw feet. I glue all my metal on with um, E6000 so I know it'll stay and it won't go anywhere. It smells, but it does the job, people. And there's the other side. So, here's the mini album, and it just fits. I didn't do the inside because I wanted my mini album to be as big as I could get it. So, um, but it is finished really nice. It's, you know, nice and black on the inside, so. And then on the back of the cover here, I used one of the stickers here. This is Debonair. Cut, fussy cut these two images here, and here's a couple of corner stickers from the sticker sheet. So, that's the box. And here is the mini album. And the mini album is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So on the front cover, I layered up the chipboard here. This is a couple of stickers from the sticker sheet. I put this one on a little bit of black cardstock and trimmed around it just to break it up so it would show up on this plaid. And this plaid, I think, is the new sheet that they added to the collection. And uh, it's really cute. It's, I think it's my favorite. <laughs> There's the spine. And there's the back, and there's a sticker that says a proper gentleman. So there's five pages in here. They're just simple pocket pages. Um, so on the inside front cover, because when I got all the pages done and everything on the pages that I wanted to put on there, um, I had to keep my embellishments flat on the inside front and back, back cover so it would close. I just made a little banner with some design paper here, layered up some of the stickers, and I fussy cut this pocket watch from one of the design papers. So on the first page I have a chipboard element here. There's a pocket in the front, and I also used um, some of the Graphic 45 ATC policy envelopes. I used the um, black, and I also used the red. And... I, one of the sheets is a tw in the 12 by 12 collection is all these fabulous vintage cars. So I fussy cut those all out and I put those on the front of each one of the little ATC car, uh, policy envelopes. So I thought that was kind of cute. So inside each one of these is a little ATC tag and I put ivory on the back so you could journal or put a photo if you wanted. 
and then there's the design paper. And I tried to get them to coordinate with what the page was, the paper that I used there. So if that makes sense. So let's go back in there. I had a bunch of these in my stash and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use these little puppies. So I did. So I thought that turned out pretty cute. The side of each page is going to have a pullout. There's no design paper on there. They're just ivory on the front and the back so you can journal or put photos or whatever you want to do. And these are going to be three by five, three by four and three quarters. So you could do a three by four photo on there if you wanted. And then on the back side here, this is my green page. <laughs> Again, I popped this up on some chipboard here. This is a border strip, another stick from the sticker sheet. Another policy envelope. Love the Argyle. This one is red. And obviously on the inside is going to be my Argyle tag. And here's the super cute vintage car for that one. Love it. And then over here I have a couple more little chipboard elements here. Again, that other corner that matches this one. And this is the cute little stamp paper. And here's another one of the little policy envelopes. And this one, because I didn't want to die cut the die, the tag with that, that paper, I kind of used this one and then fussy cut one of the stamps out and it added to the front. So that's how I did that one. Because I didn't want to, you know, have the his head cut off and the so we just kind of changed it up a little bit, but it still goes together. And then right here, again, I'm not going to pull these out. They're all the same. They're just plain ivory. Flip it over. Again, this is my blue page. Again, I have that fabulous little houndstooth. Again, a sticker that I put on some black cardstock and cut around it. Love this blueprint here. And here's the fabulous card for this one. And I have the blue here. Again, one of my favorite, favorite. There's not enough fabulous guy papers out there, and I just love this collection. Another chipboard element here. I went around the edges of my chipboard with um, one of my alcohol markers, just kind of in a brown, just because it was easier than trying to use my ink pad. <laughs> Again, I love this striped here. Reminds me of a tie. In fact, I think my husband has a tie that's that color. Again, another fabulous car on the front of this. And there's a cute uh, tie paper. <laughs> I don't know if it's called tie paper, but that's what I'm calling it. And you flip it over again, another chipboard element, and I use that fabulous plaid again. Again, I love this uh, print right here. It kind of looks like a men's suit. And here's the fabulous car on the red envelope. So you'll know that this one's going to be right there. And then over here, I love this print. It looks like buttons to me. I'm not sure what it is, but I thought it was kind of cool. So this was a border strip, and I just fussy cut it down and added it to a piece of chipboard and put it on the back here. Again, here's the fabulous car on this one. And this one is going to be the polka dot. And over here, again, another one of those um, fussy cut elements. This is, I think, from the signature page. And then I love the plaid here. And again, that suit print. And here's the fabulous car on this one. And this tag inside is going to be this one. I'm going to take them all out. Over here, again, so I just layered up this border strip on top of this cute paper right here. Added one of the little chipboard elements, which is a little tiny clock. Love the paisley print. And there's the fabulous car on this one. And on the back, the last page, um, again, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet, and I punched out a black circle. No, I did not. Yes, I did. I punched out a black circle and stuck it on there, and then I added it to the top of one of the buttons, the chipboard buttons. And then here is, I thought this image was fabulous. He's quite debonair, so I stuck the debonair sticker on there, and I just made a little banner with some scraps of paper. And then on this tag, because, again, I needed to match something like that, I somehow, when I was cutting my paper, this worked out great. So this was from the signature page. There's two stamps and a border strip there. So I thought that was kind of cute and it matched pretty good. And on the inside back cover, 
again, I, my book was full, so I had to keep it flat here. This is just some more of the design paper, a border sticker here, and this is a border strip. I thought it was really cute with the buttons right here on the men's suit. And then again, there is the back. So that's my little project using the Graphic 45 a Proper Gentleman. Now I have several people ask how I take the book box, which when you take it out of the package is gonna look like this, and how I keep this lit up. Again, um, I'm gonna show you real quick how I do that, because I've had so many people ask. It's pretty simple, it's not rocket science. Um, what I like to do is I take the, the box and I, I open it up like this, and then I cut a piece of chipboard to go on the back right here. And I like to use a medium weight chipboard. And then what you want to do is you want to determine how big you want to make it. If you're going to put feet on it, you need to make sure that you don't cut it too large because otherwise your feet are going to get in the way. So what I usually do is I take whatever feet I'm going to use. And I'm usually, if I use feet, I'm using these because I know they're chunky, but I like them chunky. So those are the ones I usually use and I put it on my box and I just make a little mark. So I kind of roughly know if I'm using the ATC box, how big my chipboard needs to be. And I think it's three and three quarters by... Yep, three and three quarters by five. So that's what I usually cut my chipboard down to. And then you just add your score tape. And you want to use a real strong adhesive, so I recommend score tape. Um, I add it to the back here. And then uh, whatever color I want to wrap. Like this is a craft, I would probably, I would put my design paper on first. My base design paper like that I, did on, I did on this one. And then I would wrap my chipboard, and basically I think everybody knows how to wrap chipboard. Yeah. I usually cut mine, I think I cut this about three quarters of an inch bigger all the way around. Um, you stick your tape on there, you tape the backing off. Like so. Maybe. <laughs> Man. Okay. And then um, you can score it and whatever, but it doesn't really matter. So I just eyeball it, stick it in the center, press it down, burnish it really well with your bone folder. Then you're just going to fold it over like this. And then miter your corners. And then that is going to get, you're going to put your design paper down here. And then you're going to attach this to the back of your box. Okay. And then once you get that piece on there, you're going to flip it open. And then add your design paper here. Because if you don't put design paper on there, you're going to have a big wide gap. And if, you know, that's okay, then if you're okay with that, then fine. But I like to add my design paper here first. And then I've got my piece on here. And then you're going to go ahead and add your adhesive. And again, I would use score tape to the back of this section all along here. And then just fold up your box. And this will stay because you, it will stay upright because you've got your chipboard to keep it from going anywhere. Okay. So that's how I do that. And again, it's not difficult, but I have a lot of people ask, so I just thought I'd share that with you. So there you go, everybody. That's my project. Uh, I hope you liked it. I thought it was turned out really cute. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.